Science with pets in a virtual world. Science with pets in a virtual world. I've got to teach science to my pets because coronavirus. Science with pets in a virtual world. Science with pets in a virtual world. Science with pets in a virtual world. I've got to teach science to my pets because corona. Good morning, my furry science freaks. Good morning, Professor Nick. Good morning, Professor Nick. Good morning, Professor Nick. Good morning, Professor Nick. Today's lesson will be a shocking one because today we're learning about electricity. <whistles> Can anyone tell me how we use electricity in our daily lives? Yes, Jack. Oh, uh, like when we watch TV? Yes, Tila. I like watching YouTube. Oh, we use it for YouTube. That's interesting. Where do you watch YouTube? Uh, on a tablet, duh. Oh, your tablet. That's true. And where does your tablet get its electricity from? Uh, USB, duh. USB, that's right. But it's not always plugged into the USB. Oh, I know. The tablet has a battery. That's right. It uses a battery. What else uses batteries? The remote control uses batteries. My electronic mouse uses batteries. Okay, so today we're going to learn a little bit how batteries work to supply electricity to things we use in our everyday lives. Things called circuits. But the first thing we're going to do is a little game and a competition. We're going to be completing mazes to see who can complete the maze the fastest. I want you to get into your assigned groups. Yes, it's going to be puppies versus kittens this time. We're going to mop the floor with them. Yeah. Dream on, poop breath. All right, at your stations, you will notice that there is a piece of paper with a maze on it. The maze is going to be connected, it should already be connected, with the wires. Now you're going to be using your special pen to complete the maze. Make sure you draw a thick line from the start to the finish. You may have to backtrack to make this all work. So keep working at it until something happens. Are there any questions before we begin? Go ahead, Harper. Uh, this isn't going to, like, shock us, is it? That is a great question and a good concern, but this will not hurt or shock you in any way. Go ahead, Rogue. Uh, do we get our prize if we're the fastest? Good question. The team that's the fastest will get ice cream. Yay, Yay ice, cream. ice cream! All right. Okay, if there are no more questions, all right, are you ready? One. Two, three.
fun. Ice cream. Yay. Good job, everybody. I hope that was fun. Let's talk about what we might have learned here. Why did completing the maze make the buzzer sound? Um, maybe because, um, like, the electricity went through the ink, maybe? Uh huh? Interesting. You thought the ink was able to pass the electricity. Okay. And, and does anyone remember what we call uh, something that can pass electricity? It's a conductor. Hmm. And what do we call something that doesn't let electricity pass through it? Uh, it's an insulator. Duh. That's right, an insulator. So when we're doing the maze, was the paper an insulator or a conductor? The paper was the insulator. Yes, definitely the insulator. That's right, it was the insulator. And that means the ink was the... It was the conductor. Conductor, right, it's the conductor. These are very special pens. They contain a special ink that allows electricity to pass. Those are so very cool, Professor Nick. Yep. Thanks for the engaged piece of the lesson. Science with pets in a virtual world. Science with pets in a virtual world. I've got to teach science to my pets because coronavirus. Science with pets in a virtual world. Science with pets in a virtual world. Science with pets in a virtual world. I've got to teach science to my pets because coronavirus.